back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Also, thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber. You're the best. And an interesting fact for you all, if you have clicked on my video today, that means that there's a 95% chance that you are not actually subscribed to my channel. So, subscribe for the good vibes, and make sure you hit the thumbs up Leave me a comment down below of your favourite item. Today's mango haul is a real treat. There's so many, so many gorgeous pieces that I'm in love with. One of them I may or may not be wearing right now. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, like I said, please click that thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below and let's just get straight into it. So I'm gonna start the video today with one of my favorite pieces from the whole haul. These really cute sage green shorts. I mean, I literally love them. The color is absolutely stunning. They've got a little pleating, which makes me feel sort of like, um, like a little tennis player in them or something, but I just love them. They're really, really nice, really, really comfy. They're nice and loose fit, which I think is really nice in the summer because although it's great to have like tight fitting things, in the summer when you're a bit hot, there's nothing worse than things just clinging to you. So I think it's gonna be great. They're gonna be super versatile. Also, these would go great with that sage green blazer that I showed you from one of the pre-mark videos, um, which was, I don't know, a few weeks ago. But um, I found loads of sage blazers online and I linked them in that video. So this would look great with those. And then also it would go really, really nice with this top that I'm wearing, but in the white. Um, I think that would go really nice together. Again, like really, really smart, businessy slash classy, day to night, nice casual, like tan flip flops. I did order a pair, which I'll pop on the screen here, um, but unfortunately they were out of stock and they refunded me for them. So I don't have them to show you, but I think they would look really great with this outfit. Also think these would just be super versatile to wear like chilled in the day. Um, just literally, like how cute, you could even wear something like this, a little bit of pop, two pops of colour. Um, I'm kind of getting into my colours a lot more, I used to be more of a neutral, whites, blacks, pinks, but we are going with the colour at the minute because I'm just loving it. It's very spring, summer. Yeah, and I think these are really great. They're 29 99 which I think is a really great price. They kind of look like a skirt when I'm holding that, but you'll see in the cutaway. Um, they're not. I just want to let you know that I'm a UK size 10 to 12, mostly a size 12 and I'm five foot 10, just because I get a lot of questions on how tall I am, and I know there's a lot of tall girls out there that watch my videos. Um, so it's nice to see how everything fits on someone who's slightly taller, but just keep that in mind if you are shorter, how things would fit on you. So everything I think I bought is a size 12, otherwise I will let you know um, what size I did order in everything. So next I'm gonna show you this. Ooh, it looks kind of similar, um, which is like a one shoulder, really sweet, just ribbed. It's kind of stretchy, which I like. It reminds me of a very Zara chill sort of item. It's just kind of like a basic, but like a slightly nicer basic. So you feel slightly more, I don't know, cute in it, I guess. Um, this was $17.99, which I think is a really good price. I got this one in a medium. Did I? Yes, I got this one in a medium and then this one in a large to see if there was any difference in the fit. And to be honest, I really don't think there was much difference at all. Um, this one is slightly bigger at the back. And as you can see, I haven't got a bra on because it really, I put a strapless bra on with it, it just didn't really look right. Probably because my strapless bra was more of a poor quality one than I needed. Um, so I think with a decent strapless bra, this would look a lot more flatter and then I perhaps did it justice in the cutaway. Um, but this is going to be so versatile, you to wear this with so many different things, and again, like I said, it's just a nice basic, but it's a little bit more fancy than just a basic. That's what we like. We're a bit sass like that, aren't we? We're a bit sass like that. Okay, okay. Keeping on the pastel theme, can you, can you tell I'm, I'm loving this, the, past, the pastels at the minute? I think this is just so adorable. Firstly, the puffy sleeves. We all know I love a puffy sleeve over here. And if you don't, where have you been? Hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna say that all the way through the video until you subscribe. Like I said, 95% is a lot. I can't believe it. I looked at my statistics the other day and I was like, 95% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Guys, what are you doing? Puffy sleeves are my life. I love a puffy sleeve. This just like arm detail is just gorgeous. I love I love the button details going down the front of the cardi. I think it's really cute. I also really like like just the striped look. It's a bit like ribbed, but also striped, but it's really subtle. Um, so I really like this. It's really cute. In the video, 
in the cutaway. I've, I've tucked it up a little bit just to give like a little bit of belly out, but I mean, you don't need to do that. Um, but I just think it's a really nice length cardi that you could just wear with a little pair of shorts, just wear with a little pair of white um, denim shorts. So versatile, so easy to wear. You could just again dress it up, dress it down. Really nice to just chuck in your bag on those days where you just feel like you might need a little cardi, or you can just wear it on its own with no top underneath. I really, really like this piece. This was twenty nine ninety nine, which I think is a great price. It feels really good quality, and I feel like mango prices are slightly higher than high street prices but the quality is there so you kind of don't mind paying because you know you're going to have them for years and years and years and years and years and because i like things that are quite timeless i know i will have them for years and i will actually get that wear out of them i never really tend to buy things that are like on trend because it's not really my style my style is like classic timeless elegant girly feminine um I just basically want to feel my best and I don't want to have to be buying things all the time. I don't think fast fashion is a sustainable way for me financially or for the planet or, you know, all these things that we should actually be taking into consideration. So, yeah, something like this I think is just gorgeous and you'll have it for years and years and it'll just never go out of style. You could also wear this with, like, white jeans. It's going to be really easy to just pair with anything. Even, like, some mom jeans would look really cute. A pair of flip-flops. Mm, just like that one. I really like that one. Could you tell? I talk about things for a little while if I like them, in case you can't tell. If I don't like something, I quickly move on. Actually saying that, there's one piece in this, I put it on and I was like, it literally looks like I've got a curtain or a tent wrapped around me. I'm not really sure, but I'll show you that one a bit later on. It's a little bit um, interesting, shall we say. Next, I'm going to talk about these dreamy... <laughs> these dreamy shoes oh my god you are like heaven to touch i got a bit mad again today i always have a coffee just before i start filming just to like pick me up a little bit and i actually think it's affected me today a little bit maybe i needed it but these as you can see are super dreamy they're a little bit higher i mean the heel doesn't look that high but when you put them on they're a little bit higher than i'm used to these days Old Katie would wear like these. Current 28 year old Katie cannot wear these. She can't barely walk in them anymore. I don't know how I used to do it. So they, just to warn you, actually, although the heel height looks like that, that's how high it actually is. So it is higher than it looks. I love the square toe. I think it's super sexy, super just subtle and classy and elegant. Oh, they're dreamy, they're dreamy. And as you can see, they went with everything in this haul. This is becoming a bit of a reoccurring theme without it meaning to. I buy one pair of shoes for a haul and I pair them with nearly every outfit in the haul just to show you guys, I guess, how versatile that pair of shoes is. So this is definitely becoming a theme and I'm enjoying it because it's good to see how many different outfits you can style with a pair of shoes. I never used to be a shoe gal, but I'm definitely getting into shoes a lot more. So these are a little bit more pricey, they're $49.99, but I think, again, like I said, the quality is there, I'm sure they are real leather. Oh yeah, they are. These are genuine leather, so they're going to last you a really long time, they're going to really keep their quality, they're just, they're just beautiful, really, really beautiful pair of versatile sandals for your wardrobe. Okay, next we're going to get onto this beautiful midi floaty dreamy number <laughs> so dreamy i think it's gorgeous for me personally i don't think it was very flattering on my shape i have slightly wider hips which i struggle with jeans and things like that and then a smaller waist so for me this sort of like area clung around what i call the area that isn't perhaps my favorite area on my particular body so i'm just going to put it out there i think this would look better on a um, more athletic shape, so a more straighter shape rather than a scales with a bit more curve. Um, however, saying that, maybe it, the size was quite small, I got a medium in this, and it was quite tight, so maybe if I'd gone up to a large, that wouldn't have been an issue and it just would have sat nicely. Um, but I'm just putting it out there, even holding it there, it's literally like I call this my little pouch. This is like where I get my food babies, and that's sort of like highlighting that area. So if that's like an area for you, then this skip may not be for you, but I do think the pattern is gorgeous and I may have another piece later with exactly the same um, gorgeous pattern on that may be much more your style. Um, 
and my style. And this was $69.99, so again, a little bit more pricey, but you can just see how gorgeous that material is and how well it's made. It's got a really stunning, floaty bottom. It's going to be, like, effortlessly chic. You could just see yourself walking around Paris in this with a nice hat on your head. Well, I can, anyway. Nice Eiffel Tower looking at you. Nice cappuccino. Mm, those little tiny biscuits that are just divine. You're just dipping that in your cappuccino. Bellissimo. I hope that was no, that's Italian, isn't it? Not French. I don't know what French is like for good. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> wee. Oui. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is really lovely, but again, not personally on my body shape. Okay, next I've got this really gorgeous white 100% linen dress. So, like I said to you earlier, the prices are slightly higher than the high street for for these items. I do think you're getting the quality. So spending like maybe 10 or 20 pound more on a dress that you know you're going to have for life, I do think is more sustainable and makes the item per wear more reasonable as well. So this one is a white linen, very basic dress. Um, and just so I tried to put this on over my head. I didn't realise it had buttons at the time, but it actually has a button you do up there and then a button to wrap around. And then it's got this really cute chic belt around the waist, which I really like. And I wore it off the side on the cutaway, but you obviously could wear it in the middle as well. And you could just swap it out for a belt that you prefer. Um, but again, this could be like super casual in the day with a nice straw hat, nice straw bag, uh, maybe some really easy like loafers, those tan loafers, tan flip-flops, not loafers, flip-flops. Or you could wear this in the evening with a nice little pair of heels, a nice nude clutch. And this would just look effortlessly chic. Some nice gold jewellery. I always think gold with a tan and white just looks so effortlessly classy. So effortless. I think it's so classic and feminine and just, oh, I love it. I love it. Just like literally like gold, white, tan. Mm, yes. That is just going to be the treat, the, the dreamy treat. And I got this one in a size large, which is a UK 12, and the fit was really nice on this one. Lovely little. Okay, next I got something kind of fun. Yellow is my happy colour. Like, I just feel like yellow brightens up the day. I don't know if it's because the sun is yellow, or sunflowers are one of my favourite flowers, and they're yellow. Also, I love daisies, which are white and yellow. I just find yellow a really happy colour. And it just sort of like makes me happy. And I think this is just basically that. It's just like really fun, cute little play suit. Um, so I got this one again, I think in a large, yeah. And this one, the fit was a little bit big around the waist, but everywhere else it fit quite nice. I think if I went down, it may have been a little bit clingy, but I do think it's stunning. I think the neckline is gorgeous on this. I love the sleeves. I love the way like this is just like detailed little frill. I love frills. I love frills and I love poofs. Um, I just think it's lovely. The structure and quality on this is stunning. It's going to be one of those really, like, it's going to last you a long time. This isn't going to be as versatile. I do think you could wear it kind of casual in the day, although the material is that more of an evening feel. Um, but you could, like I did, in the, I think, in the cutaway, you could definitely make it more casual, add in, like, a straw bag, straw hats and flip-flops. And then you, you perhaps could... I don't know, I don't know. Personally, I don't think I would wear it in the day like that unless I was maybe abroad somewhere and like Venice or somewhere like that. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it in this country in the day, but I think it's a really stunning piece and obviously in the evenings it's gonna look so gorgeous. Um, nice pair of like little white heels. I don't know where the ones I wore in the cutaway are, but I'll, I'll um, leave some down below. And also I'll leave a picture of me wearing it with the shoes completely styled on my like to know it page so if you're on like to know it or if you're not it's an app and basically all you do is download it and you can shop all of my outfits on there so definitely head over there and follow me it's at with love katie with two underscores and then also that's exactly the same for my instagram if you want to come over and follow me over there for some daily fashion content i am at with love katie two underscores i would love to see you over there and also i've had recently so many really nice messages from you guys over on YouTube, coming over to my Instagram and just saying hey, and it's been really nice. And we've had some lovely chats. So thank you for all those people. If you're all those people, thank you for doing that. 
I really appreciate it and it's just really lovely to like chat to you guys and know who's actually watching my videos because when I film them I never actually think about who watches them. I'm just interrupting this video halfway through because 95% of you, as I said, are not subscribed to my channel. You guys are watching this video and are not subscribed to my channel. I would love it if you could subscribe for some good vibes. If you've enjoyed so far, um, I make haul videos every single Sunday. Also, 91% of you who watch my channel are women, and I feel like women should be empowering women. So click that subscribe, help a girl out, and let me know if I can help you out in any way, and I will happy, happy to do so. I just fell on because I love doing it. Um, yeah, so I've gone off topic, but anyway, this is really, really sweet, and the frill detail, like I said, goes all the way around to the back. It's got a zip at the back. It's very plain, very simple, but it's, like I said, classic, elegant, timeless, gorgeous. And that's 59 that one. Are we ready for the little um, tent dress? Yeah, I feel, I feel like we are. Yeah, we are, we are. It's now or never really, guys, so... <laughs> I wanna end on a nice piece for you guys. So this piece, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just felt like it definitely needed something around the waist to, to cinch it in. I don't know if it was because I got it in a large and it just was too big, um, but it is a 12, it says. And it's from Recycled Polyester, which is lovely. The print on it is quite dreamy. And the material, it's like silk. It's really, really gorgeous. This one is £80. It's £79.99. It's got these ruched bits up the arms, which is really different. I have seen styles like this before, but I've not actually worn one. But I really like the arms on this. It's also got a slip dress underneath, which I think I just gave you a little sneak preek of that. Pre preek? Preview and peek together. That's one of my... Uh, made up words, slip dress underneath for you, which is always nice, I always hate it when dresses come, and they're a little bit see-through, but there's no slip underneath, I'm like, well that's great, now I've got to go and find something to go underneath it, thanks for that. Um, so, I don't really know what to say about it, I like the slits down the leg, um, I like the arms, but for me personally, I mean, you could wear this super cash to the beach because of the floatiness of it, but I feel like £80 to wear to the beach is a kind of a lot. It's, I think it's a specific person's taste, and personally, it's not my taste. I think this would look phenomenal on some people. I'm not one of them. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that one because there's no point talking too much about things we don't love, is there? got to do what you love. Okay, I'm now, now I'm going to talk to you about this gorgeous straw wig. I love it. I literally love this. I think it's really, really nice. 100% natural jute. Jute? Jute? Yes, jute. Don't really know what that means. I think it's this part. <laughs> I was thinking when this came, if this handle had been like a neutral, creamy tone, it would have been staying in this house forever and a day because there would be no way I'm saying it about. Because of this handle, I just know piercing. I don't think I'm going to wear it with as much. But having said that, if you're someone who wears a lot of black, this is going to go super great with a lot of things you wear. Um, and it does make it versatile. This is a neutral, is it like a really dark brown, almost black? It's not actually black, black, I don't think, unless I'm a bit colour blind. I don't know. In different lights, actually, it's changing colour. Um, I really like the inside of this, and I like how it's got this bit to pull it together because it's, I always think if you've got a bag like this and you just put it down, everything tends to fall out of it, or everyone can see what's in your bag. But because it's got this like squeezy bit, that just makes it so much easier to keep everything in, and so it's just so much better. This would be really nice for just like an everyday bag during summer, but also really nice for beach for holidays. And this one was thirty pound. This one's £35.99, so I think quite reasonable, um, as it's all natural material as well. I think I'd rather pay that little bit more and have that. Um, and it's just, it's just really nice, actually. I like that one. I'm going to have to check if they do this in like a, a nude or like a blush. But no, not like a blush. I like this colour. That's basically what I want. <laughs> or cream. Cream would be nice. Whilst we're on the topics of bags, this has to be my favourite bag I think I've ever had in a haul. Mm, saying that, maybe the, there was like a shell straw clutch in the last H&M haul. That may have been my favourite, but this is on par with it because it's just so cute, so adorable. Look at the colour, I'm in love. It's got gold detail, which I'm all about the gold life. Ain't no silver over here. Um, it's also got a strap inside, so you can make it slightly longer. You can wear it in the day like that, I think over the shoulder, something like this, really, really cash. 
and then obviously it's got this really gorgeous which you can clip off strap can't think of the word it's got this really gorgeous little strap that makes it more chic and more takes it more to an evening style bag you can also take it off completely i guess and use it as a clutch which is really nice it's literally like three bags in one this was 29.99 which i think is really reasonable just because it is really nice quality it feels like a really nice material and i think you would actually get a lot of wear out of this because like i said you could wear it in the day nice and long and you could definitely wear it in the evening too it's going to go gorgeous with anything white anything neutral anything pastel just really really sweet i'm going to try and show you the inside that's the inside as well because i just sometimes i hate it when people don't show you the inside of the bags i also got a hoodie which i just want to show you i'm too scared to try it on in case i don't want to keep it because i know i'm going to get makeup on it so i'm going to wait till i've not got any makeup on to try it on the material of this is insane it's just like a normal hoodie but it just the i can't tell you the material the material feels like it feels like not a duvet it feels like a mattress it's like soft and squidgy like a mattress i feel like this would be a dream to wear like i said i'm too scared to try it on because of the makeup situation um and i just know i'm gonna get tan everywhere this is a uk large i think i would like hoodies to be a bit oversized because i feel like they look com they feel comfy like that I actually think, looking at it like this, it would fit perfect. Um, it's just super squidgy and super yummy. It's got little silver bits around the neck. It's just like a classy looking hoodie. I like this. And I think this will be really nice during all times of the year. But specifically now in summer, just perfect. Okay, this actually turned out to be one of my favourite pieces. This is £25.99, which I think is so reasonable. It's got gorgeous puff details. I don't love the material of it if I'm honest. I'm gonna try and just do like a little close up so you can see. It's um, a little bit sort of rough, stiff. It didn't feel rough on my skin or when it was on. Like this one I got in a large, which was a 12 again, but this one was a little bit big around the waist, but luckily it had the tie which held it in so you couldn't really notice. So if you wanted it to be a little bit comfier, go for your size. If you wanted to fit you properly, perhaps go down a size on that one. Like I said, it was a bit big on the waist. But I really like this, just very super plain, chilled. Again, wear this in the day, really casual, really comfy, nice pair of flip-flops, nice straw bag, something like that. Could wear it in the night, again, dressed up. Some really nice classy heels, maybe these in like white or nude. Not not this like, I know this looks nudey, but it's not. It's like a cappuccino in colour. I'm thinking more nude, nude. You know, like that pinky nude? That would look cute with these, uh, with this. You could also wear like a nice like white blazer over it. Really dress it up. Again, some simple gold jewellery. Can look really elegant. Maybe some little hoops. Little bag. Maybe if that purple bag came in like a white. Really cute. Really cute outfit that would be. I enjoy. I enjoy that one. And the last item is actually probably one of my favourites. Like again, um, which is why I kept it till last. I actually always keep things I love till last. Do you always do that? Like save your favourite part of the meal for your last bite so you can like really enjoy it? Or that just me? <laughs> okay, so this last piece is, um, like I showed you earlier with the skirt, but it's actually a dress version. Um, and it's again, nice V-neck. Really, really pretty. Look how just like gorgeous, even the inside is. I love the pleat on this. It's just really like a soft pleat. It's a really lightweight, floaty, feminine, gorgeous dress. I still am in love with the print. I'm not going to talk to you about the print again. What I also love about this is the delicacy. Is that, that's the wrong type of word. The delicate the details on the sleeves. <coughs> I've lost my voice. The delicate detail on the sleeves. I think that's really, really beautiful. It's completely sheer. And I think it just makes it a little bit classy and elegant and just feminine and chic and lovely. This fit me great. This was a size 12, which is a large again. And this is 79.99 but i do think this is like super worthy like of maybe a wedding um maybe a christening maybe every day maybe dressed up in the evening a summer dress to go to a nice barbecue this is going to be super versatile so cost per way you're going to get loads of cost per wear and yeah that i just saved till, till the end i love that bit i love that dress so you guys let me know what's your favourite down below. If you haven't clicked subscribe for those good vibes yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and let me know what you would like to see next week um, in the comment section down below as well. 
Thank you all so much for being here. And the links in this video are down below. So I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.